My name is Lydia Mason, and I've married. I have one son. I did catering and sewing. When I, I start doing the catering, you don't get someone who will help you. You cannot do it. So I put the catering aside and I take the sewing. So I came at the car for their training and I pass out. I have the two certificates, I have the Ghana and the Switzerland. There is a company there called Damaris. I start to work there. I was almost three years. So when I had with the OP that studio, I, I, I change and I come back to studio. I work with studio.
Studio company since 2014. Yes, and I'm still there because Abrima is a very good woman. If you have problem financially, if you go with her, sit down with her, she will support you. Always, she pay the workers. You make sure that every month she will pay the workers so that they also can get money and take care of their family. So I still like, and I like the designing that she bring out. So I'm more interested. There. So I always I pray that we should get more order so that we get financial so that she will increase our salary for us. And always to she bring new things out. Anything that she bring every year is very nice. Very nice. The designing, the fabric, the pattern and everything, the color. Especially look at this one. It's very nice. And this time to the way she choose Kente is very good because we are in Africa. Ghana to Kente is our cultural clothes. So I hope this year oh, she'll be the winner. I remember we have one show that was there because I was the one who was do the attrition on the model. I was so happy. The way, oh wow, so I was so happy. Very, very happy. So always I pray to God that God should give a brim long life. So that you always bring every year, should be a new thing. So that we, the workers, too, can pay us so we can take care of our family. Make your money, don't ever care for from that money. Hey. Oh, you both know 
the care, you know that. Get to you, know the fear, no bad mind. Chana to Casa, Eba, Okay, this season we have a navy silk ruffle dress worn on Miss Rosario Dawson. We made it for her for the inauguration. Yes, girl. <laughs> um, she's wearing it with a really beautiful woven scarf. It's organic cotton. It's woven in Burkina Faso. The symbol, the Jazzy Jeff symbol, means um, fly north for freedom. It was inspired by the freedom blankets in the United States. And then behind her is a really beautiful mud cloth, white fabric that was made in Burkina Faso and sewn in our factory in Accra. And since we can't have Rosario in person, we get her digitally walking that gorgeous runway. Yes, Rosario, yes, I love you. <laughs> Cute. Uh, <laughs> so silly, I love it. Okay, stop the recording. So this collection is about legacy. You know, in spring summer 2020, we talked a lot about heritage. Um, and you know, the next piece of that is really thinking about legacy, thinking about where we're coming from, where we're going. We really saw that in 2021, or sorry, 2020 where we had so many trials and tribulations. Wasn't sure if we were gonna make it, to be honest, um, but we did. Um, but also just reflecting on, you know, what everybody went through, um, how we made it through, thinking about 
the continuation of the legacy from the work that was done in the 60s, you know, with the BLM movement and the interconnectedness of Africa and America and what it means to be a black woman or a person of color in America and in the world. Um, and really just thinking about what matters to us. And I know for me, with conversations I've had with you, a lot of it was thinking about what do we stand for? I felt a lot of anxiety in 2020. And, um, and I had to reach a point, which you said really well, which is to be in our gratitude and to be in our joy and to think about what makes us celebrate. And for me, a lot of that is tied to the work we're doing in Ghana and the work we do with our artisans. And since we couldn't do the typical kind of studio one day and fashion show in New York, I mean, look at us, we're on Zoom together. We thought we'd get the chance to bring the fashion show to Ghana. You know, like how often do the workers get to be inside the fashion show and see the hair and makeup and see what happens after the part that they make the collection. The collection usually runs and leaves to another location and they don't get to see it, you know? And this is really nice that they were the VIPs, they were the celebrities, they were cheering us on, they were dancing. They were owning it. Lydia has been a tailor since seven years. She was the star of the show. And just, you know, watching all of the team members, even right now, we're still editing, you know, like pulling it together and creating this beautiful piece of art and film directed by a very good friend of mine, Matamba, and all these wonderful people. It's just been a real big blessing for us. So I know we're not supposed to keep it short so you can always stop watching if you don't want to. But, you know, I'm really blessed and I'm really blessed to be here with you. And also, I just want to say one thing, you know, also being able to tell the story of Kente and, you know, this incredible royal fabric and having incredible drummers and people, you know, who really appreciate and love this fabric and love the work that we're doing and, you know, standing in their pride. And hopefully everybody figures out what legacy means to them and how they can contribute. That's what inspires me. I mean, that's for me. What about you? How do you feel? I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling really so grateful. I'm feeling really um, jealous that I'm not in Ghana um, with everyone. It um, was so beautiful, as you all seen, um, this incredible um, runway that we had at the factory and seeing all of the people who helped to create these beautiful works um, over the years. Um, be celebrated in front and center um, and and being able to witness what it looks like to have the beautiful creations they've made just be strutted and danced in and, and celebrated. Um, and, you know, for me, I think that's what legacy is. You know, so often I think when we talk about legacies, we think about an individual or a family. And um, and for me, it's it's the traditions, it's it's the community, it's um, the fact that even through COVID, through Ebola, through war, through famine, through disease, through uh, oppression, through colonialism, through so many different things, vitality and life and beauty and humanity still continue to shine through and win the day. And that is what um, I feel is celebrated in this collection and with our community and our family. We are continuing the legacy of our ancestors um, and with our hope and with our determination and with our passion and creativity and um, commitment to, to what was, what is and what could be. Um, which I think when you look back at so many different times, it's so hard to fathom how people got through so many different situations because there was no even history some, at, at many points to look at to go, this could get better. And yet they still forged ahead and they still pushed through and they still passed on traditions and techniques and skills and ideas and all of that still lives in, in vibrantly in all of us today. And that's what this connection is. It's vibrant. It's um, it's deeply connected to history um, and it's resonant with um, culture and creativity for our future, which I think is so vital um, as we design what that future looks like. So it feels really beautiful to feel so many people being recognized, celebrated, upheld, um, um, moving forward um, because of their own sheer brilliance. And and um, and, I, and I just think that that's the kind of 
inspiration that we all need that through any trial and tribulation tribulation that we have the ability to com connect and to create and to celebrate and to um to just remember ourselves and what we're capable of um and and that's a really really beautiful um and necessary thing we are human beings who are capable of anything and everything that we did we put our minds to and this collection is exactly that i mean through sheer will all of these people came together and made this happen and that is just profound um so i hope everyone enjoyed this um i i want to be dancing and with all um of, of the whole studio 189 fam and community um i'm so grateful that through technology we're able to do that and still continue to bring dance and music and art and beauty and fashion like gorgeous beautiful brings out your inner light and makes people smile dazzling vibrant fashion um and and that's what we've always done in our shows and it's amazing that we've been able to capture that and still be able to share that with everyone so um i know sometimes our, our studio 189 fashion dance parties can can get a little out of hand <laughs> at our shows and um we we get you know people upset because there's not enough tickets to go around and this time we're we're you know we've been able to just showcase it this way and so um, i hope you all were able to dance on your on your ends of the video and um that you um get to be a part of our studio 189 family in some way shape or form so whether it's a mask or a, or a belt or um you know a dress you know just rock it out with us and share it with us so that we can we can have and invite you into our family um because that is that is how we build our legacy and what i'd love to also is the kids you know like that the kids got to see yeah. their parents at work you know like those are cynthia's kids you know and they got to be there and they were modeling like this I love it. They were so cute. And they were practicing and they were, you know, and it's just, it's nice to see, you know, that everything they're doing has purpose and meaning and who knows, you know, what their future holds. And I'm just, I just feel really, really blessed to be in this moment with you and to be in this moment with everybody right now. Um, and, you know, keep it, I guess it's a little long, but I'll, I'll close it there. But thank you to everybody who watched it. And I hope you know how much people worked hard to make this video happen and also worked hard to get this collection to you because it's really not easy to do it in COVID, but it was done with love and with appreciation and with heart and with passion. So thank you for watching and hopefully you stay in touch. I love you, Rosario. I love you, Aruna.